Hey, in this video we're going to talk about DCP tools and I'm going to just give a quick overview of how to get to DCP tools and uh, what kind of programs we're going to be using throughout CPOE. So first things first, we want to access our build or prod IH environment. Now the build and prod IH environment are just two different domains with two separate builds and I'll explain this in a future video, but it is very important to differentiate the two. Uh, we do not want to build in prod IH when we want to build in build IH first and vice versa. And we can go over that strategy in another video. But first, we want to talk about uh, Citrix icon and how to access build IH. So when you first log into your Windows desktop, uh, you should have a blue Citrix icon the bottom right hand corner right here where my mouse is hovering so you want to left click on that and you should have two options applications and desktops so we want to hover over desktops and you want to go to non prod and then build IH desktop PBS now the Cerner prod IH desktop up above it uh, that was just what I was talking about earlier. We don't want to be in this environment unless we really need to. So prod IH, meaning production environment, or at least what we're going to be using in a production environment. Uh, we want to keep that not, we don't want to touch that. So we want to go back to here, non-prod, build IH desktop. And it does take a little bit of time to load up because it brings up another window. But luckily, I already have that loaded up right here. So this is the icon it will look like. So build IH desktop PBS. So I'm going to click on that. And basically, it shows you a very much similar screen to your desktop. So I'm going to expand that. And if you notice at the top here, you do have options to uh, disconnect the window uh, and change the window. So you can have it. You can resize it etc etc so let's have that fully expanded now to get to DCB tools from the build IH domain we want to first click on the start menu all programs click on that and Cerner build IH so another way of telling you're in the right environment I've definitely uh, logged into the wrong environment and built by accident before uh, so we're gonna look for DCP tools in here. Now when you first open up this file, uh, it's a little bit intimidating. So if I just scroll through like this, there's .dll files, there's a lot of text files, exe files that you might never use. Uh, I definitely haven't used probably, I'll probably only use about 5% of the programs in here. So quick way to search for DCP tools, just click anywhere and just type in DCP. Uh, it doesn't get us right there, but pretty close. So we are looking for DCP tools.exe file. And it kind of looks like a rocket ship from here. Um, but I'll double click on that. And it will get us to Cerner Millennium splash screen or login screen. And basically what we want to use here for our login is your Windows username and password that you have. So I'm just going to type that in. And once we type in our password, let's minimize that. Uh, this brings us into the basically the home page for DCP tools. So for, for at least a CPOE perspective, we are quite interested and will mainly be working in the orders or order management uh, tab right here. So I'm just gonna left click on that, expand it all. And as you can see, there's actually several different options we have, and these all represent different tools within here. But today, the most important one we're gonna go over is the power plan tool right here. Uh, so within at least our organization, we call power plans order sets. Uh, so clinical order sets, um, that's what power plans is referring to. And order sentence tool, order 
folder maintenance tool, order entry format tool, and order catalog tool. Those are the, say, one, two, three, four, five different tools that we need to focus on uh, from a CPOE perspective.